okay and now we're gonna see the next chapter that is organisms and populations as we all know a single organisms cannot live alone okay and there is always a interrelationship seen between the organisms and their surroundings okay now let us see about ecology what is ecology it is a term that is some total of abiotic and biotic which influence the organisms in the terms of survival and reproduction and the regional and local variation within each biome lead to the formation of variety of habitats the yes we all know the ecology is based upon two components that is biotic and abiotic what is biotic and abiotic yes okay it is a study of interaction among the organisms between the between i mean among organisms and between organisms and its physical that is abiotic environment and it consists of two branches that is horticology and syncology horticology means deals with the level of species and whereas syncology it leads with the level of communities and let us see the organizational levels of ecology the first one is organisms populations communities and biome okay now let us see the biotic and abiotic factors okay some give some examples for biotic factors yes not after seeing the slide okay biotic okay temperature soil okay now let us see the responses to abiotic factors living organisms cope up with a stressful condition so how to avoid this stressful condition there are some methods okay the first one is regulate what they do in regulate the homeostasis is maintained by ensuring a constant body temperature and constant constant osmotic concentration by physiological and sometimes behavioral changes also and all birds and mammals are endotherms endotherms means yes regulating their uh, temperature on their own what they do have a mechanism of thermoregulation and osmoregulation for uh, maintaining their what maintaining their temperature homeostasis and the next will confirm about 99% of animals and almost all plants cannot maintain a constant constant environment temperature so what they do is the body temperature changes with the ambient temperature they are called as ectoderms and a major, majority of aquatic animals change the osmotic concentration of the body fluids according to the environment only and such type of animals are called what hmm osmoconformers okay during the course of evolution the, some species have the ability to regulate their environment condition but over a limited range beyond which they simply conform such animals are called as partial regulators okay and the next uh, method is migrate okay what is migrate i think you people know what is migrate yes during the stressful condition what they do they travel from their place to another and then return back that is migrate if an organisms move away from the uh, place temporarily from a stressful habitat to more hosp hospitable area and return when the stressful period is over is nothing called as migration and birds undertake a what they take migration during winter and the next one is suspend what some organisms cannot uh, i mean cannot they cannot move from one place so to avoid this stressful condition what they do is escaping in time uh, what they do is the organisms suspend their metabolic functions during the stressful function and resume their functions after return of the favorable condition like example polar bear undergoes a winter sleep called hibernation and also certain animals like snail and fish undergoes a summer sleep known as aestivation okay what is adaptation adaptation mm. adapt aagirathu avanga irukkira edathukku adapt aagirathu of the, which organisms belong i mean enables organisms to adjust adjust to their environment in order to ensure their survival okay 
the first one is xerophytes in the adaptation xerophytes and other yeah desert uh, the adaptation to reduce very water loss and romba kammiyana water da irukum and they have to conserve water and they occupy habitats in which there is some kind of water stress like example habitat includes desert high altitude or high latitude and then rapid drainage and the next adaptation is halophytes halophytes na water yes uh, mangroves are halophytes actually adapted to grow saline inter intertidal environment where they form a most complex and a product of ecosystem on the earth what they do is their ability to secrete secrete salt to accumulate it in a older leaves and they specialized tissues allow water but not salt to enter the roots anga iruka plants la eppadi irukum salt ah ullakama verum water ah mattum irukka mari and the roots anga and mari modified ah irukum and the tissue tolerance of the high salt levels idhu normal ah irukkaradhukku and mari avlo high tolerance illa for salt and then extensive root system gives support in the soft substrates and oxygen enters the roots through nemato nemato force and the next adaptation is hydrophytes hydrophytes na submerged in the water plants are adapted to living either partially or fully submerged in the water and the typical submerged like uh, example water lily and avangaloda characteristics how they will be na like uh, long a large thin floating leaves and elongated petioles reduce root system and kammi they are reduced only and aerial flowers and poorly developed xylem tissue little or no ligand in vascular uh, tissues and few scleroids or fibers only present in them ஓகே இப்போ நம்ம ஆனிமல்ஸ் பார்த்தோம் லெட்டர் சீன் சாரி இப்போ பார்த்தது பூராவும் பிளான்ஸ் நவு லெட்டர் சீன் ஆனிமல்ஸ் ஆனிமல்ஸ் வந்து வாட் டெசர்ட் கேங்குரூ ரேட்ஸ் இவங்கனா தே ஆர் வெரி வெல் அடாப்டட் டு தி டெசர்ட் லைஃப் இவங்க தே ஹேவ் a லைட் கலர் டென்ஸ் ஃபர் which protects them from heat of the sun டெசர்ட்ல எப்படி இருக்கும் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் ஹீட் தானே சோ தேர் their dense fur them protect them from the heat and then they eat only seeds and dry plant matter and can store store their food for weeks at a time like camel apdi dana pannum and the hump la enna store paniko water adhe adhe idha inga na idu vandu kangaroo rat and then if needed they can get their needed moisture from the seeds they eat appo moisture anga theva pannum anga seeds la endha what the whatever seed they eat they'll take from that and desert kangaroos don't sweat in order to conserve the moisture they have a variety of other adaptations to help them to survive in the desert even an okay and also adaptation desert lizards papo desert lizards na enna pannuvaanga na they absorb the heat from the sun and body temperature drops drops below the normal appo appo avanga vandu romba avangalukku so id temperature aayidna they move to a shade place to maintain their ambient temperature okay okay now let us see the adaptation in mammals animals in the cold climate usually have a minimum surface exposed surface area like they have very short appo romba exposed a irukada avangaloda body parts like short legs very short tails and short ears reasons vandu they animals lose heat through exposed surface adana ipo ipo veliya exposed aacha and paata appo adhilendu romba idu pogudhu enna agudhu எதுக்கு வந்து ஓகே அவங்களுக்கு எதுக்கு ஷார்ட் லெக்ஸ் ஷார்ட் இயர்ஸ் ஆர் ஷார்ட் லிம்ஸ் எதுக்கு இருக்கு அது வந்து கோல்ட் இருக்கு போனா இப்போ இவங்கலாம் வந்து கோல்ட் climate ல தான இருக்காங்க ஆ இப்போ ரொம்ப இப்போ அவங்க அப்ப என்ன இருக்கணும் வார்மா தான இருக்கணும் அவங்க அப்போ ரொம்ப எக்ஸ்போஸ் ஆயிட்டாங்க ஹீட் போய்டும் அவங்கள இருந்து அவங்க இருக்க அந்த வார்ம்னஸ் போய்டும் ரொம்ப எக்ஸ்போஸ் ஆயிட்டு அந்த க்ளோட் கோல்டு கிளைமேட்க்கு ஸோ அதனால தான் அதுதான் ரீசன்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் கால்ட் ஆஸ் தேர்மல் விண்டோஸ் லைக் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வாட் ஆர்டிக் ஹேர் ஆர் ஆர்டிக் ஃபாக்ஸ் கிரே ஃபாக்ஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி சி அடாப்டேஷன் அட் ஹை ஆல்டிடியூட்ஸ் இன் ஹியூமன் ஹியூமன் என்ன எப்படி ஒரு நம்ம ஒரு டைமுக்கு மேலே ஒரு ஹை ஆல்டிடியூடுக்கு போயிட்டோம்னாக்கா வி கே நாட் ப்ரீத் there will be uh, symptoms like fatigue vomiting or palpitation ad edunala because of this high altitude anga vand oxygen supply kammi a irukum so which leads to the increasing the red blood cells nam body la iruka red blood cells vand increase aidum productions and then decreasing the affinity of hemoglobin adukapram the breath, uh, breathing rate romba increase aidum 
okay and like examples near manali manali and the places la pona or mansarovar okay now let us see about population population another individuals or yeah people population is a set of individuals of a particular species which are found in a particular geographical area and can interbreed yeah. and the population occupies a very small area or smaller size and it is called local population large na it is called larger population a group of closely related local population is called as meta population and these are the attributes of population one is birth rate another is death rate population density sex ratio what is birth rate yeah how it is calculated hmm hmm so look correct yes and whereas death rate um adu da so in the birth um death rate na depends upon the population illa evlo per varanga evlo per erakranga adu population appo population density what is population density number of individuals present per unit area at a given time that is density sex ratio it is either male or female numbers okay now let us see the age pyramid age pyramid na it is population at a given time is composed of individual of different ages da or population ellaru ore age la irukamaatanga illa different different ages da make a population so when the age distribution is plotted for the population then it's called as age pyramid and there are three types one is expanding stable and declining now let us see about population growth population growth and it is a change of the population over time and can be qualified as a change of the number of the individuals of any species in the population using a time is called I mean, for measurement that is population or grow ipo ipo irukka time la in future la apdi va irupanga adhe population a irukum so that is that is population growth in demographics population growth rate is a rate at which the number of individuals in the population increases in a given time period as a fraction of the initial population okay now let us see the factors affecting the population enna na factors irukum affect agaradhukku factors affecting population growth mm -mm. birth rate death rate emigration immigration okay birth and the death rate okay and immigration and emigration appo population change uh, how to calculate population change birth plus immigration minus death plus emigration immigration and other emigration and other immigration na mm. ah edu edu imia emia imi solunga immigration and other immigration na okay yes correct going other okay okay population growth we can even pl plot it in a graph that is two type of growth one is exponential growth and logistic growth exponential growth na they are in j shaped whereas this uh, logistic na they are in s shaped okay lag is phase is the initial growth phase inga enna panna when birth rate numbers the death rate when the birth rate numbers the death rate appo birth rate oda adhigama yes and the environment is fulfilling their biotic potential maximum possible growth under ideal circumstances and whereas this logistic idu vand they are carrying capacity in the maximum number of species environment can support and then deceleration occurs because there is an environment resources that is a finite amount of resources okay now let us see about a life history variation the rate of the breeding varies from species to species some animals some some species can only breed once in their lifetime but some other species can breed when they whenever in every season they can breed and also some uh, organisms produce a large number of small sized of springs that is like example oyster apram there are some organisms that are small number of large sized of spring also like birds and mammals according to the ecologist life history traits of organisms have evolved in the relation to constraints imposed by the biotic and abiotic components of habitat where they live okay okay 
Now let us see about predation, population interaction. Okay, population interaction and the interspecific interaction occur between the population of two species or two community. Uh, these interactions could be beneficial, det uh, detrimental or neutral. And the first one we gonna see is predation. Pred predation and the mm. yeah. Okay, the interaction of two different species, one will be killing the other, that is it will be predator, another will be a prey. Okay, as in the absence of the predator, if there is no predators, in the prey or the prey species will have increase iron. So, it will not be stable, that will be unstable, and the community of unstable iron. Apparom, they help in the maintaining species diversity in the community, as I said, by reducing the intensity of the competition among the prey species. And then, when certain exotic species are introduced in the geographical area, they become invasive and start spreading fast because the inward land does not have any natural predators. Next one is interspecific competition. Interspecific competition, na? It is a competition between two species. But predation la vandu, one vandu predator, another vandu prey. But in the rendu pair me competitor. The result vandu yar? Yes. Who wins or who loses? The resources are not be limiting. Epo competition na dako when the resources or the like. Yeah, limited are more than a power of it will not come up for feeding efficiency up a arc efficient feeding efficiency adhika marco they will only win okay competitive release provides another evidence of competition in nature it is a phenomenon which a species whose distribution is restricted to a small graphical area because of the presence of a competitively superior species and it's found to expand in the distributional area range dramatically when the competing species species is experimentally removed okay and the next one is parasitism parasitism another it is in a process parasitism mm -mm -mm -mm. relationship everyone In the process, there is an organism that is benefited. That is parasite. And whereas the other organism became harmed, that is the host. Okay. Like example, we have a human liver flake. Fluke depends on two intermediate hosts to complete this life cycle. That is the beneficiary. That is the host that is harmed. So, oh, that is parasitism. Apo majority of parasitism ha ha harm the host. The majority they will harm the host. And which leads the harm, I mean, the, which leads the host to reduce their survival, growth and reproductive ability of the host and also reduce their population density. And they might also tender the host to become more vulnerable. So, they will be weak for the predators to kill easily. And there are two types of parasites. One is ectoparasites and endoparasites. Ecto na? Ectona na? Outside the part, uh, I mean outside the host. Aprom endona, it is? Yeah. Ap okay, uh, ecto ka example kudunga? Ecto like. Ah, ha. Apro inside ka? Endoparasites ka? Okay. Okay, next one is communicilism. Abdina in a communicilism now. Munnad in the parasitism, one is benefited, another is harmed. But here, what they do is one species benefited, another is harmed nor benefited. Okay, that's the harm or beneficial or like example, an orchard growing in an epiphyte on a mango tree. Okay, and the uh, yeah, mango tree gets the shelter and nutrients from the mango tree. And the mango tree ki or harm illa beneficial. That is called communalism. Uh, and the next one is amencellism. What is that amencellism? Mm. Mm. Ha, one one the harm, in one one the 
yeah yeah like example vandha enna na penicillin a penicillin vandu mold secretes a penicillin which kills the bacteria but the mold remains unaffected okay that is it harm nor its benefited okay mutualism na sharing okay yeah both are benefited by sharing it is an interaction that confers the benefits both of the species or organisms okay let's see some examples enna na lichens represent the intermediate mutualistic relationship between a fungus and a photosynthesizing algae or a cyanobacteria what the fungus what they do is helps in the absorption of nutrition and provides production and whereas this algae prepares the food another example is the mycorrhiza shows close mutual association between fungi and the roots of the higher plants mutualism na both are getting benefited okay and what is uh, amenicillism uh, mm. oneness inside one one benefited ah irukum one ah amenicillation ah one vandu harmful ah irukum one vandu edhume irukadhu okay adha okay appo idhu na innonu commensalism na adhula da one beneficial ah irukum illa beneficial ah irukadhu harmful ah irukum okay parasitism Thank you.